Hey, this is James on Gaming, and I've just learned of the rumour that Radio at Dawn, who developed The Order 1886, and Sony have parted ways. I'll learn this from uh, the video from Review Tech USA, which I've linked below, and the article from PS4 Daily, which I'll also have linked below. Um, and it seems it's just because, um, yeah, The Order 1886 didn't have the sales uh, Radio at Dawn on Sony were expecting, and it was reviewed quite poorly on, you know, pretty much everywhere. Which, um, so, you know, Sony said, screw it, you know, going to get rid of you. Which I suppose is fair. I mean, Sony are a business, and if their developers aren't bringing them the money, they got cut them loose. Which is just a shame, because I loved The Order, and I was really looking forward to seeing more of the universe. Um, the only thing I didn't like is the the fact that Sony has kept the rights to the series, which I think is absolute bullshit. I mean, it's Ready at Dawn's IP, it's their game, their series, and if Sony doesn't like it, why well, they're keeping it. So, yeah, I really didn't like that. Now, um, if you watch my um, E3 is coming video, you'll know that I was really hoping they would announce a sequel to The Order, um, and it seems that's not happening now. So. And yeah, it did have, if, have its flaws, which I've acknowledged. I mean, Rich of Review Tech USA said um, he felt there were too many cutscenes, which I don't agree with. I mean, I could, uh, I couldn't get enough of them. I could, I can sit back and let the story happen. I was quite happy to do that. Um, but what I did have a problem with, I felt there was too much walking when there could have been shooting sequences. Like I felt there was too much downtime. And too many quick time events, especially the bosses, like it didn't feel like you were actually fighting them. And it did have a lot of loose ends. Um, but apart from that, you know, I loved the story, loved the characters, loved the shooting. Um, and I was just really hoping we get to see more of this universe, and now we're not. So, it's a shame, but it's how it is.